So here we have a basic projection setting that I did for Kung Fu Panda 1. Uh, if you hit the spacebar over the image, you can switch between 3D and 2D mode. Right now we're in 3D mode. You can see that it's a simple planes in space. I've got five different elements in here. I'm just going to maximize my real estate by hitting the spacebar over the node graph. Here you have your projection camera. A string of basically the first projection, which is the mist, going into a scene node, a scan line render, shot cam, constant, motion blur, and a right node. So we're going to recreate this. And basically, first off, we're going to create a read. So if you hit tab and type read, you'll create a read node. And then you'll just go to find where you want uh, the node to go. And then tab again and type pre molt for the pre molt node. Basically, you'll need that. Uh, if you're going to be using an unmultiplied image. Then tab again and create the Project 3D node. Now you want to create a camera. Hook the camera up on the left hand side. Now you have your projection camera that will go into that camera node. Back off the Project 3D node. You want to actually have a read geo node. So read uh, read geo right there move that down a little bit. So that's going to be where you're going to have your image plane or whatever geometry you want to project onto. And then now basically if you have a larger scene, you want a scene node for everything to funnel into. And then off of that scene node, you need a scan line render node, which is going to convert your 3D scene into a 2D scene. Here we go. And then off of that, you want another camera, which will be your shot camera. So there's the camera. And in the background, you want to actually create a constant node. There you go there, which is basically for the scan line to run from. And then from here, if you're going to do any kind of motion blur for your scene, you can add a motion 3D blur node. So now you have everything you need for your scene to work. You want to hook that back up to your shot camera. And then now you want a write node to actually write out your rendered images that you're going to work from. And this is soup to nuts, like a simple stream in Nuke for one element. And you can see on the left, like I've got multiple streams feeding into that scene node for more elements. So you can build this up as big as you want it to be. And now basically we're clicking on the camera. You can change the tab over here on the properties side for how many nodes you want to be popping up every time you click on an element. I no narrowed mine down to one. Now on the camera node, just click read from file under the file tab, click the folder, and then find your uh, camera data that you want to import. In my case, I saved mine as an FBX file format. And you just reload it, say yes to overwrite the camera data, and now you've imported your camera data that you've made in another program, let's say like Maya. And then now basically I'm going into the read geo, and I'm basically going to bring in whatever .obj I saved out from Maya. And I'm just kind of searching through here. There's the .obj. Same thing with the shot camera. You want to bring in your shot camera data. Again, read from file. And you'll see, like, once you do this a few times, it's very much just repetition in terms of what you're doing in, the, in your scene. So here you basically have the shot camera that we just imported the scan line render and the scene. I'm going to maximize this again. So again, I'm hovering over the node graph. I hit spacebar. Now if I hit F, it's going to maximize all my nodes. And we're going to just kind of step through these one more time. So double click on the read and that will basically, again, if you hit spacebar, you'll have the pop up here. If I lower this down in this top left to only have one property open up, and this will be finding wherever your file that you want to read from, which right now it's my background Mesa. Go back over here, hit uh, spacebar again. Why is it not doing it? Here we go. 
And I just want to funnel through these really quickly. So here we're reading in our image. Our image is basically an unpremolted image, so we need a premolt to convert it for Nuke, because Nuke likes to read everything as a premultiplied image. Here is our project 3D, so this is our projection node, like in Maya, projection for the camera, which is our proj cam. We can rename this if we want. Then here is our geo that we want to bring in as an OBJ. The scene node is basically a place where we're going to gather all our nodes. It connects all the pieces in your scene that you want to render, geometry, cameras, images. And we're going to feed that into a scan line render, which renders the scene. And it basically takes the 3D data and makes it into a 2D image from it. And on the left of it, it'll have a node for a camera, which is your shot camera. Now your shot camera will be different from your proj cam. And usually I'll name these so you can differentiate them. On the right hand side you have a constant right now. The constant is just used to select over here, if I double click it, is the file format of your element. So basically your constant should be the same size as what you want to output out your image. So it's kind of like trapping the data. And then again also you want to make sure in your preferences under edit, uh, where is it file? It's a little different sometimes when you're uh, here, preferences, I think preference, no, not preferences, file, I just want to change the project settings, project settings, project settings, edit, project settings, and then here you just want to click over and you want to see what size format your project is set and make sure that this is set to whatever you want your element to output as because um, you could have it set to a different number in here. Your constant will view properly in your viewer, but when you go to render, it's going to be a smaller res image. And again, like I said, you want to add motion blur, add a motion blur node, hook it up to your shot camera, your right node, double click it. You want to basically figure out what file type you want it to be, and then where you want it to save to in the file. And then what file format do you want the images to be rendered as? And then once you have that set up, you just click Render. Nuke will render out your frames that you want for your image. And that is basically a simple stream of one element in Nuke.